Well, hello everyone, this is the Balka Guy, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Poland song for the Eurovision 2024. We got Luna and the song The Tower. I know this was one of the songs that was hyped. So many people asked me to react to this, and I know Luna is like actually pretty famous in Poland, right? So this is, we finally have the Polish representative, and I actually have not heard this song yet. I only reacted to The Witcher Tarahoro. Uh, song and I ended up not listening to any of the other songs that were competing in the Polish internal national selection. Um, so I, I honestly don't even know what to expect. I, <laughs> I have heard some of other Luna songs, but I have not heard this one. So I don't know if it's going to be similar to her other music. If it is, it's probably going to be really cool. But let's go ahead and check it out. Let's let's see what Poland has got for us. Before I do, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter because I always, always appreciate that. And let's go ahead and see what Luna has got for us. I'm clicking play. Opa. Ooh. Very interesting intro. Looking for a miracle. Ooh. Very interesting vibe. It has a bit of a beat to it. it I, I'm loving the music video. It's super artistic. Ooh, this is a nice part. It's like good vibes. And the music video though. Oh, this reminds me of uh, Kingdom Come that competed in Melody Festival, right? It's very similar. Ooh. Okay, so it brings it back. I like it so far. Am I already getting like wow vibes from it? I don't know. But it's like a nice pop song. Hey. There's definitely an artistic vision behind this. The chorus is very catchy. Let's go! I'ma need something more to happen, you know. I need an explosion here. Oh, she said, I'm the one that holds the power. Okay, we go move into the bridge. Oh, I like this. She built the tower, in case you didn't hear her. We got a little high note in there. I see. Hey. It's a very vibey chorus. And it is very catchy. See, I'm already singing along. You know, that's always a good sign. the tower there is like this very artistic vision about this music video it looks really cool like the, I feel like the entire time I was really really watching the music video is super cool and that also makes me question well what's gonna happen on the Eurovision stage is it gonna be something similar to that is it gonna be a similar vibe because if it is I feel like with a proper performance, it could increase the odds of like doing well in Eurovision. I mean, I'll be honest right now, this is not a Eurovision winner. Let's be real. <laughs> this is not gonna win Eurovision. I don't think this is gonna get top 10 in Eurovision either. I just, I don't see this song being impactful enough to be able to crack the top 10 in Eurovision. 
Is it gonna qualify though? Honestly, that's a very good question. Well, let, let me look at the semifinal. It's competing in semifinal one of Eurovision. Let me let me see who it's competing against. Okay, so here we have the people, the countries competing in semifinal one, um, and obviously Poland is in the first half. And from the first half, I mean, we can already say Ukraine is qualifying, Lithuania is qualifying for sure. Let's be real, if Croatia and Serbia choose right, they're also qualifying. Um, I mean, then we have Cyprus and Ireland, which could be, depending on how strong the semifinal, could go either way. Finland is qualifying for sure, especially in the second half and being a televote only semifinal. We have Slovenia that's qualifying for sure. Look, uh, I, I think Luxembourg is, is qualifying, especially being in the semifinal. So that leaves kind of like three spots from the countries that could potentially qualify. And right there in those three spots, we could have either Australia, Azerbaijan, ooh, Poland, Cyprus, Ireland, maybe even Iceland and Portugal, depending on what they choose. Moldova is a really strong song too. So <laughs> honestly, like, I do think this is a very, very nice song. It's a very nice pop song. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I think there is a chance it doesn't qualify. I think it really is all going to come up to come to the staging. I think if the staging is executed well, I could see this in the final. But this is a really strong semi-final. So honestly, anything can happen. Um, <laughs> I don't want to... Uh, say something and get ahead of myself and be like, no, this is a sure qualifier, this is a sure non-qualifier, because I don't think it, it is either of those. But I do think there is a chance that it could go either way. And I think Luna is really going to have to bring the staging here. And to me, like, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's always bad to compare, like, songs that the song beat. But then, I, I mean, when I heard Witcher Tarahoro, I, I have to I have to talk about it. That was a potential Eurovision winner. Poland could have been a potential Eurovision winner with that song. This one is simply and objectively not as strong. This is not winning Eurovision. This I don't think this is even coming top 10. Even though I personally like it and I think it's a vibe, I don't think this is coming top 10 in Eurovision. And to me, it's like, okay, what happened there in the selection? You have a potential Eurovision winner, and then you choose something else. You never know what happens in those selections, but yeah, I am, um, I guess I'm a bit uh, disappointed after hearing this song, knowing that Witcher was right there and was also competing in the same national selection. But that is it when it comes to my reaction. As always, I keep it 100% honest on this channel, and I just want to hear your guys' opinions too. How do you think this is going to do in Eurovision? Do you think it's going to do well? Uh, again, let me reiterate, I do like the song. I'm just not sure if it's competitive enough to make it out of such a strong semi-final. But I do like the song. I think it's really cool. I love the music video. And uh, I would love to see something like that on the stage. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Which is totally okay. That's what that's the beauty of this contest. We all have different opinions. So let me know down in the comments. What are your opinions? If you enjoyed my reaction, you want to go ahead and click that subscribe button right there because I'll be uploading your version reactions all season long and all like, other kinds of Eurovision videos. So if you're into Eurovision, you, you want to go ahead and subscribe. And then last but not least, you want to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. Well, because I always, always appreciate that. But also, I mean, what can you find there on Instagram? It is mostly some gym selfies. So if you're into those, you want to go ahead and follow me there on Twitter at Tweet about Eurovision and on TikTok at full some dumb stuff. You know, it's TikTok. So if you're into any of those, that's the place to find them. And uh, I guess I'm going to see you guys in my next Eurovision video. Goodbye.